hello everyone welcome to avsoft today we are going to see the difference between stream and parallel stream so let's see about the stream so basically we can use the stream object to process the collections element so here i have created the one stream from the list in the list i have stored some ob elements like alphabets a b c d e f g h i in form of stream and now using the l dot stream method i can convert that collection into the stream on that stream i can perform a various operations like mapping filtering sorting update etc 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 so here i am using the for each loop and i am printing the each element of the stream so here the stream will perform the operation sequentially that means it will print the every element in the sequence for example it will print first a b c d e f g h i in that way so now uh, then what is this parallel stream let's see so in the parallel stream uh, we can create the object of parallel stream by using the method called that called as a collection dot parallel stream so this is the method parallel stream which returns the stream so when the parallel stream creating the stream from the collection so it will first break the stream into the chunks like this so it will break or it will split the existing stream into the chunks now after this it will check that chunk size is enough to process efficiently or not if it is not processed if it is not efficient to process then it will again break that chunks into the another chunks like this and this operation is keep going until some specific threshold threshold means at specific point or after specific splitting of the chunks it every time it will check it is okay to process the chunks efficiently or not if not then again it will break but if we'll get to know okay this chunk size is perfect or enough for processing efficiently then it will stop that splitting operation and then it will start a next operation called as a processing so let's see the processing operation so in the processing operation it will assign a multiple threads or we can say that it will create a multiple threads using the for join pool so the for join pool is responsible for to create a multiple threads dynamically and managing the threads so that each chunk of these streams will get assigned to that threads once it is assigned to that thread then that thread will start performing the operations and obviously if multiple threads are working on this on that streams parallelly so that means obviously it will improve the performance as compared to the normal stream because in the normal stream only one thread will work on that entire stream in the sequence but in case of parallel stream a multiple threads will work so that's why the performance of the parallel stream is very good as compared to the stream then what is the another difference obviously which we already seen the difference is in case of stream it is performing the operation sequentially and here it is parallelly so the there is no guarantee that which element will get processed first that means if you are if you are executing the printing operations using the stream so it will print sequentially but here there is no guarantee which element will get print first so that is the theory about the parallel stream now let's see it is programmatically so it will more clear to all of you so for that we need a spring suit tool let's remove this all stuff okay now if you see here i have the test class with the main method now i am going to create here the list list 
L is equal to list of string. Let's take a list of string. L is equal to arrays dot as a list. Here we need to put um, some elements or strings A, comma B, comma C, comma D, comma E, O, E, comma F, comma F G. Okay. So these are the element like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's take some more elements. H, A, F, G, H, I. That's enough for us. Now I want to print this all the elements by using the stream. So how to do that? First take the list L dot convert it to the stream. After this call the one method called as a for each loop method. Here print this object using the sysout method. That's it. And let's run. And you can see it is printing sequentially A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Now let's use the parallel stream. So for the parallel stream, what we need to change here? Only one thing called as this method. So here, instead of this method, let me delete this. Instead of that stream method, use the parallel stream method. Other things will be as it is. Now let's run what will happen. Now you can see here it is also printed, but it is not in sequence. Why it is not sequence? Obviously, multiple threads are executing this all the elements parallelly. So it's not in our hand that which thread should execute first and last. It is totally depends on the JVM. So in that way, we can use the parallel stream. Now the another thing is the performance. We have to check the performance. And the second thing is we need to see which thread is executing in which thread a performing the operation on which element. This is also important because as per our theory in the parallel stream, multiple threads are working, but in this may only stream only one thread is working. So let's see these things. So first to check the performance, we can do one thing. Let's use the stream here. So it will execute the stream. Another th thing is here. I want to print here the thread name. So we will get to know which thread is executing here. So there's one method. There's a class called as thread inside. There's one method called as a current thread. That's it. Now let's print this. I can see A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and here the thread and the name of thread is main. That means only main thread is executing all the elements. So that is clear. Now let's see about the uh, parallel stream. It is also very simple. Use here same thing that R and that current thread name. So I'm mean, just to change the method. We are using the parallel stream. That's it. Let's run. Now we can see here uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, H, G, H, I. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then I. Now these things are in the sequence and executed by the main thread. But if you see here, this thread or this is not in the sequence and it is executed by the in the parallel stream. So what are the thread name here? So if you if you see here that F E I G A, -A is processed by the main thread and D P C is executed by some other threads like a common pool worker three worker two and worker one. That means our theory was correct. As per theory, multiple threads are working on the parallel stream in the parallel stream. Okay. So this is I guess I hope this is clear to all of you. Now let's check the performance. The main factor is the performance. Okay. So how to check the performance for that? We can do one thing. We can here we can uh, note the start time. So how to note the start time? Simply long 
long uh, start time start time for not a door it's a for string okay not a steam it's stream stream is equal to system dot current time in the millisecond so it will re return the current time in the millisecond similarly use this or note down the end time end time now let's print end time minus start time that's it similarly we can use the same thing here to note down the start time for the parallel stream so we can use here the p and end time for the parallel stream p and then use here end time for a stream minus start time so it should be p and it should be p here not a start time for p okay p that's it so it will print the execution time for the stream and this will print the execution time for the parallel stream so let's see the performance let's check now this is for the normal stream and this is for the parallel stream so if you observe here the time taken by the normal stream is 22 millisecond and the time taking by the parallel stream is only seven second so this means there is a drastic difference in the performance of the parallel stream and the normal stream so that's our all about the parallel and normal stream so thanks for watching for the video and now we can close this call thank you